What is up everybody? It is your boy Laker Boy Waldo and I'm back at it again with another video. Preseason started, we got our legs in a little bit, and one thing has became apparent. Kyle is Kuzma like is here to stay. He has taken this league on notice. Everyone to some extent has heard about Kyle Kuzma. Analysts are all over him. People are calling him the steal of the draft. People are calling him a dark horse rookie of the year. And today's video for me personally is to discuss why I think he can start over Julius Randle and why he should. And we'll talk about his pros and cons a little bit. And yeah, that's basically it, so let's get it. Pinacho. pros and cons this man has balled out for us laker fans i feel like it's kind of a surprise even though we've seen him ball out in summer league i don't think we expected him to his game to translate like that to preseason but going from summer league to preseason his production has not stopped and in fact i feel like he's been even more efficient which is to me a very very encouraging sign because preseason is more NBA players because you know it's a full roster more not like full-on but there's more NBA players the whole vibe is completely different than summer league so for him to consistently produce still he's I think believe I believe he's top five in scoring right now in preseason that is a huge 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 positive sign for us also another little tidbit this trade this Delo trade has turned out to be a huge win for us I wasn't too happy with the trade at first but Brooke Lopez and Kyle Kuzma for D'Lo and Mozgov seems like a really, really, really good deal right now. So that was a little something I just wanted to add. So we'll start off with his pros really quick. Pro number one, I personally feel that his footwork is absolutely phenomenal. A lot of people would say his best pro is shooting and I'll talk about that next, but his footwork is amazing. I saw on Twitter the other day, someone said that his footwork looked like a seven year old vet's, like an NBA vet. And I really agree. He looks very polished. Like if you look at even the top rookies, you know, big man rookies who, you know, like Jaleel before all of them, their footwork was a little shaky when they were in preseason. But Kyle Kuzma just looks completely polished, which is very surprising because in Utah, his college, he didn't really do much of that. And all of a sudden he's just balling out. So, I mean, we got lucky, but if you look at the tapes, his footwork is beautiful. He's hitting fake dream hooks, he's doing little shimmies, he's having sky hooks, spin moves, and he just looks very fluid doing it. So, that is one huge, huge eye-opening thing that I didn't even really see much in Summer League that I'm seeing more in preseason now, which is getting me really excited. Next positive, which is what everyone, you know, including me, sees, is shooting. This man can shoot lights out. He has a very fluid stroke. A very quick release he's not afraid to take a shot and his field goal is really 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 up there he's doing a great job with his shot control knowing when to attack knowing when to shoot and he really looks like our only pure shooter on this team I mean we have KCP but he's very streaky shout out to Herb Urban loves the Lakers and Eddie Stark and they're both saying that they feel like Kuzma is the only pure like shooter and I really believe so. I really think that too, that he can really be our main shooter. So that's another pro that I like a lot. He has a very nice stroke, perfect release, perfect form, and he could really, really make some big waves on the Lakers and in the league. So the third pro I liked a lot was his motor and his ability to run both sides of the court. Uh, we see a lot, he's usually the first one on defense and the first one on offense. And for someone to be six foot 10 and be able to do that, is very very impressive i mean we we kind of associate that that type of skill to the likes of people like ben simmons and Giannis, like the greek freak and to have someone like kuzma be able to do that from the 27th pick is very impressive i noticed his motor is very nice i feel like that's kind of what he learned in college in utah he has a very very good motor he doesn't give up on plays he consistently runs back and forth is not very lazy and I feel like that will pay huge dividends, especially like what we saw in Summer League when uh, Zoe would get a rebound and throw it out, Kuzma would always be there. So I really, really like that as well. That was very impressive to me. All right, so those were his pros. Those are things that really got me impressed, excited for the season to start to see him get minutes. 
but we do have to talk about some things that I feel that he could personally improve on. The biggest thing I think he needs to improve on is defense. This whole team needs to improve on defense, but for sure Kuzma does as well. I feel like that's not too much of a big deal right now because he's a rookie, but he does get very inconsistent. There will be times where he'll let his man go. He does show very impressive flashes where he'll stay. He could even guard a guard sometimes. and. He has very good potential, but for right now, he's very streaky on defense. And if he does want to take it to the next level, if he does want to be, you know, a rookie of the year, a dark horse, he's going to have to really improve on that. The next thing I feel like he needs to improve on is rebounding. He's a four, he's 6'10", but sometimes you won't think that because he won't even be in the post for on defense to get some boards. And some of y'all might have been saying like, yo, that's cool, like he could just play the three. Yeah, but he has a perfect spot in the four. He, you know, like you can't really beat out Ingram's spot right now. Personally, I believe Ingram has solidified his starting spot um, for right now. And you can't really, you know, start over him. But I could see Julius Randle, you know, him not really improving on his right hand. Uh, Kyle Kuzma kind of has a little leeway to take that over. So I feel that he should really focus on knowing when to stay and rebound and when to run on the outlet. Um, if he improves on that and if he, you know, he boxes out, there will be no issue. But for right now, that's one thing he really, really needs to improve on. Alright, so we talked about his pros and cons. Let's talk about why he should start. So a little bit about Julius Randle first. Honestly, I know I'm going to get heat for saying this. I like Julius. I like him a lot. And his transformation was very impressive. But he still can't finish with his right hand. And personally, I'm not saying that it's, it's, it wasn't good that he, you know, worked out and transformed his body. But instead of doing that, I would have preferred him to, you know, focus on his right hand. Because he's a good player right now. But if you're a one-sided player who can only go on the left and you can't finish on your right, you can't take it to that next level. And that's personally where I feel like Julius Randle is. Maybe I'm wrong. I just haven't seen much of preseason from him. But... For the moment, I haven't seen him finish in his right, and that's something that I've been wanting him to do for the last two years. Another thing is his jump shot. Yeah, he's getting a little more comfortable with the mid-range, but I mean, the way they were hyping it up in the, in the summer, like, oh, he, this guy's hitting threes on threes, that's not happening right now. And maybe that's just kind of like a time thing. He's still uncomfortable. But for right now, I don't see Julius Randle uh, being better than he was last season. That's not a bad thing. He had what 13 and 8, 13 and 9 last year. But if we really want if we really want to take it as a team to the next level, we're gonna have to, you know, get a little uh, more efficient in starting. So that's why I personally feel like Kyle Kuzma can step in. With Kyle Kuzma, I feel the biggest benefit he brings with this team is uh, chemistry and for the starting lineup. And I don't mean chemistry like beef, like oh Julius Randle's beefing. No, I don't mean that. I mean Offensively, I feel that everyone will be very fluid. And let me explain that really quick. So basically, you know how in my old video, I talked about how Lonzo and Brooke Lopez on the pick and roll are perfect because Lonzo loves having a high pick and roll and throwing it to his big man to have him shoot a three. So that was really impressive to me. But right now we have Randall at the four and you know, Randall can't shoot. But if we put Slide Kuzma in there, you could easily run a set where you have Kuzma and Brook Lopez on both sides ready to set a pick. Lonzo will have a field that he could pick whatever side he wants, run pick and rolls, and the whole court is stretched. Because one through five, everyone could at least somewhat shoot a three. Because you have Lonzo, uh, KCP, Ingram, Kuzma, and Brook Lopez. Everyone can somewhat at least hit a three. And that for Alonzo especially will really help him He'll open up the court he'll be able to penetrate more and he'll really be able to you know come into his own another thing is with Julius Randle he needs the ball in his hands a lot and that's why I feel like if we do end up keeping him past this and you know we re-sign him uh he would be served off better on the second unit because Right now, it's going to be Zoe. Zoe's going to have the ball in his hands the majority of the time. And more than someone helping him bring up the ball, Lonzo needs someone who's going to run down the court. And personally, we've seen in Summer League, him and Kuzma have that light skin connection. That's something that would really help out Lonzo to have someone who could throw an outlet like that. And per for Julius Randle, I feel like him and Clarkson can really run the second unit because it'll give Julius Randle the ability to be free. He could, you know, kind of go into that 
maybe test that Draymond role where he brings up the ball, initiates the offense, and he could just do a lot more, and he won't really be restricted. And also on offense, I feel that Julius Randle usually needs a running start to score. Uh, Kuzma on the other hand doesn't really need to, he could serve, catch, and shoot, he could come off the pick. That's not really Randle's skill set, he needs kind of like a head start. So I feel like he could really do that more in the second unit because uh, basically we're limiting him kind of if we're starting him because he's really not uh, in the best position to you know if display his talents. So that's why I feel like Kuzma should really start. So that's basically it. I just wanted to talk about Kuzma really quick and you know all the hype surrounding him. I just really feel like he deserved a Laker guy video and I really just wanted to talk about why I think he should start. But other than that, please like, comment, subscribe. We really, really, really appreciate all you guys watching. Um, if you guys have any other ideas, please leave it in the comments below. And other than that, it's your boy Laker Boy Waldo. Peace.